This video is to give you a better example and help you walk through building an Arc World 4 6200 with MA2010s. So let's get started by pulling up the CAD tree and I'm going to create some dummy models. First, I'm going to create one called Cell, which holds most of the components of the entire layout. Next, I'm going to add one that's called Fences. That way I can turn off the fence guarding if I need to visually be able to see for programming better. Next will be the bases and the common base that everything sits on. Now let's first go to Positioner. And now we're going to start adding the positioner components. First will be the main headstock component. Go back to positioners and we're going to add the tailstock component. Next, we're going to add the main drive assembly on the headstock side. Now on the tailstock side, we're going to add the main sweep that will be tied to the headstock side. Next we need to add the weld curtain or the center wall partition that ties the headstock and tailstock together. Some people may call it the spanner. And now to be able to put tooling on and equipment and parts we need to put the face plates and motor mounts on. Well, let's spin it around, take a look, and make sure everything's lined up correctly, and it looks like it is. Next, we will add side B faceplate. Now we need to add the motor mount to the tailstock side, side A and side B. There's side A in place. Now let's do side B. And that is how you bring the models in for the positioner. And next, we will start putting it on the controller in. 